Today I'm going to read the book Wash and Dry. Wash and Dry is the title of our story. Oh no, my muddy dog just jumped on me. I'm grimy and slimy from cap to socks. Daddy says I smell like wet dog. P.U. I'll add my dirty clothes to the rest of the dirty laundry. I'm glad Mommy and Daddy will help me wash and dry my clothes. I wouldn't want to have to do this job by myself. Luckily, I still had lots of clean clothes in my dresser. It smells like a bag of lemons in there. I'll be glad when those dirty clothes smell that good. I carry the stinky basket over to the washing machine. I hold my breath as I walk and try to think about flowers. It's not working. I'm glad we have our own washing machine at home. My aunt takes her dirty clothes to the rub-a-dub tub laundry mat. There are lots of people there and the machines clink, clink, whistle and whir as they wash and dry the clothes. My aunt has to use a lot of quarters to wash and dry her clothes. At our house, mommy helps me wash my clothes. We put the really dirty clothes in a pile to be washed in the washing machine. It will twist and twirl the dirt right out of those clothes for us. We put some of the delicate clothes into a pile to be washed by hand. We swish and swirl the clothes in the soapy water. There are bubbles in my clothes and bubbles up my nose. Achoo! Before we can put the clothes in the washing machine, we have to sort them. We make a pile of the light colored clothes to wash together. If we washed daddy's dark red shirt with my white underwear, my underwear would be pink. Yuck. We make a pile of dark colored clothes too. If we washed my white socks with mommy's dark blue pants, my socks would be baby blue. No way. We toss a load of dirty clothes in the washer. Then clunk, I shut the door. Mommy lets me pour dry soap powder into the hole at the top of the washer. Then I add the liquid fabric softener. Glub, glub, glub. Next comes the best part. I get to push the on button and listen to the machine start to work. Whoosh, I watch the sudsy clothes slosh around inside. I'm looking at my favorite book when I hear ding. The washing machine signal tells me that the clothes are ready. They are clean, but still squishy. Daddy helps me with the next step, drying the clothes. If the sun is shining, we hang them outside on our clothesline. I hand Daddy the clothespins. The clothes will smell like the sun and wind when they are dry. When it's cloudy, we dry our drippy duds inside the house in the clothes dryer. They flip and fumble and flutter and tumble in the heat. The humming machine is warm. Even our cat likes it when we use the dryer. Suddenly I hear bzzz. The clothes are dry. They are in one big tangle. We all help to fluff and fold the clothes. I like to fold the clothes into tiny triangles or into silly circles. Mommy and Daddy fold the clothes into plain rectangles and simple squares. They don't play with the laundry. I think they're missing out on the fun. Some of the laundry needs to be hung up on hangers. Some of it needs to be ironed. The steam iron hisses while Daddy irons the wrinkled shirts. Daddy hisses back. He doesn't like this part of the laundry. While Daddy irons, Mommy tells me that a long, long time ago, people washed clothes by pounding them on rocks in a river. I think I like our way of washing clothes much better. Mommy says that people used to have to make their own soap. They would boil the ingredients in a big pot over a fire all day long. The soap from each batch would last a long time. After all the work just to make the soap, people still had to scrub the dirty clothes on a washboard in a tub. I bet doing laundry took a long, long time.
My great, great grandmother used to use a washing machine with a ringer at the top. When she cranked the handle, the ringer swished most of the water out of the clothes. She'd hang her clothes on a clothesline too. When they were dry, she used a giant rolling iron machine called a mangle. She'd crank the handle and the clothes would go in all wrinkled and come out all smooth. I'm glad we don't have to work so hard at washing clothes. I can put my favorite outfit and not smell like wet dog. Oh no, here we go again.